Hi guys, Lisa here. Just wanted to do a really quick video um, to show off my uh, trimmed Albano weight. Um, I what I did is I had um, I really love the Albano weight and I have some vintage versions of it and I'm going to do a whole video about the Albano weight um, uh, to try to talk a little bit about what's special about the deck. Um, uh, about its history in the emergence of the new age. Um, and it just, I love it. Lots to say about it. But I had this Italian printing, the, the recent printing of the Albano weight, which is uh, made in Italia, in Italia, in Italy, and it's heavily laminated. It's so plasticized. I don't know if you can hear that, the noise of the plastic. And um, you can see how glossy it is. Um, and the colors are not so great. Um, you know, they're they're not subtle. Um, everything's. I mean, the Albano weight coloring isn't subtle. Period. But this is, you know, it's it's muddy and um, you know everything is kind of um, more uh, more brownish um, and uh, I think there's less red tones in it. Um, Anyway, I'll do a whole comparison of that, but um, but I just wanted to talk about the trim job because I did something which I haven't I haven't really seen this um, anywhere, but where I trimmed I not only um, trimmed off the borders I trimmed off in the major arcana I trimmed off the names at the bottom, and then what that meant in the minor arcana is that I had to trim everything down to there was no bottom. Um, name, but I trimmed everything down to the same size, which was slightly over four inches. Um, and so um, in the major arcana and in the court cards, that meant I didn't, I didn't sacrifice any of the image, but in the minor arcana, sometimes it meant that feet got cut off and, and Pixie's signature, you can see there in the right corner, uh, that got cut off or, you know, in that very important for me card, the Five of Swords, you know, he's missing his feet. Um, but um, I don't care. <laughs> I like it. It's it's cool. Um, and I edged it. You can sort of see, it's hard to see in this light, but I edged it with um, gold Sharpie, and that gave a, a really, I'm looking for one where it shows up more, that gave a really nice, uh, subtle border. And then, you know, along the side it looks pretty good now again I am you know I am not you can see you see it here you know I'm not very handy it was pretty messy but the thing is because these are so heavily plasticized um, because these are so heavily plasticized uh, when I screwed up I could um, actually even just using um, what do you call it uh, nail polish remover I could remove the coloring um, where I went over the edges. So, you know, I ended up with something that's pretty clean, um, that's a really nice size, that, you know, everything really pops. And of course, because it's the Albano weight, everything pops anyway. Um, and um, yeah, you know, I went from a deck which I really didn't like because of the feel of the cardstock to something that, you know, it's still, I still don't love it the way I love my vintage. Albano weight, but um, but I you know I groove on it. I've been working with it. It you know it, it's horrible to shuffle because it's um, like many trim decks. Um, it's not even enough, and somehow the the edges are just rough enough that it's hard to shuffle. But be that as it may, yeah, these colors are really. The colors of the Italian printing are really off. Um, I mean, it's hard to tell that if you don't know the deck. I'll do a comparison deck, but a uh, comparison video. But anyway, trimmed Albano weight. I think it looks pretty darn good. <laughs> you can see, I really messy. I look what I did to his the poor little kid's face. Okay, he's got gold sharpie on it. So I didn't clean it up everywhere, but. I did my best. Anyway, there you go. I'm not handy, but you know, I'm, just, I'm pretty happy with this. The Albano weight, ladies and gentlemen, trimmed down and ready for my love. Okay, bye.